Hello and welcome to the session in which we will discuss the mid-quarter convention when it comes to cost recovery or simply put depreciation for tax purposes. In the prior session we explained what cost recovery is and we explained that the default convention is the half-year convention. Now I hope as I was explaining the half-year convention you guys notice something unusual about the half-year convention. What is that? What does the half-year convention assumes? The half-year convention assumes that you place your property midway throughout the year, regardless of when you purchase the asset. Regardless of when you purchase the asset, we always assume it's placed in service mid-year. Well, that's great. Here's what I'm going to do if I'm a business person. If that's the case, I'm going to go ahead and purchase my asset during the last part of the year, sometime in December, buy as many assets as possible. Why? Well, if that's the case, I'm going to buy the asset for one month and have the depreciation for six months. Well, this is what the half-year convention allows you to do. Well, guess what? To curb abuses such as these, the government introduces the mid-quarter convention so when do we use the mid-quarter convention for one thing it applies only to personal property so we're not dealing with real property which is land and building so we're still working with personal property just like the half-year convention so the mid-quarter convention applies when what when you placed 40 percent of your asset in the fourth quarter i hope you know we have four quarters throughout the year if you happen to purchase 40% of your asset, which is a vast majority of your asset in the fourth quarter, well, then you have to then you have to use the mid-quarter convention. So you cannot assume you purchase your assets on average mid-year. That's not acceptable anymore. So what do you have to do? You're going to assume that you purchase the asset and the quarter in which you purchased it in, and it's midway throughout the quarter. So if you made a purchase in the first quarter, you assume the purchase is made in the middle of quarter one, in the middle of the first quarter. So it's someplace here. We have January, February, and March, mid-February. If you purchased something in the second quarter, April, May, and June, mid-May. If you purchase something in the third quarter, July, August, September, August 15th. If you purchase something in the fourth quarter, October, November, December, November 15th. So notice, rather than assuming you purchase your asset halfway throughout the year, if you happen to place 40% of your personal property in the fourth quarter, then you go back and you would use the mid-quarter convention. And it's assumed, bought or sold, in the mid quarter. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, farhatlectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's gonna help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. So the mid-quarter convention is applicable when what? When you purchase a vast majority of your asset in the fourth quarter, then they are categorized by quarter and they are purchased in the middle of the quarter. For example, the first quarter, the cost recovery period is 10.5 month. Why? Let's, let's look at this. Let's look at this timeline again. One, two, three, third quarter, fourth quarter. Well, if you place the asset in the first quarter, if it's placed here, it means you are gonna depreciate this asset. Well, what's left? What's left is three quarters, which is nine months, and 1.5 months. In total, you have 10.5 months equivalent to three and a half quarters. If you placed your asset, if you place some of the asset in the second quarter, the asset, the asset are placed in the second quarter, how many months are they going to be applicable to? How many months of depreciation? It's six months plus 1.5, 7.5 months. Well, 
if you place the asset in the third quarter, it's four and a half month, which is a full quarter and month and a half from the third quarter. If you place your asset in the fourth quarter, it means you have to only depreciate the asset for a month and a half, which is half of a quarter. Now, also you can do this by percentages. So for example, here, let's go back here and use percentages rather than month this way in case the information is presented to you in your CPA exam course or in your accounting course. So this is your this is 25% of the year or basically if you purchase your asset here, you know, January 1st, you have your asset, you depreciate the asset for 100% of the year, of course. If you purchase your asset at the end of, of the first quarter, what's left is 75% of the year. If you purchase your asset halfway during the quarter, you still have 50%. If you purchased it at the end of the third quarter, you have 25% left, 25% left. And obviously, if you purchased your asset December 31st, you don't have any time for that year to depreciate your asset. So what's going to happen is this percentage wise if you want to look at a percentage wise what you do if you purchase something in the first quarter basically 100 plus 75 divided by 2 equal to 87.5 percent you, you're going to depreciate it 87.5 percent of the year the same thing in the second quarter 75 plus 50 equal to 125 divide 125 by, by 2 62.5 so this this point here this point going forward represents 60 62.5 this point here going forward represent 87.5 and obviously you can do the same thing here and the same thing here 25 plus 0 equal to 25 divided by 2 is 12.5 12.5 and 12.5 let's take a look at an example to illustrate this concept let's assume a business with a year end december 31st placed in service the following used seven year class assets asset one on February 18th and paid 40,000 asset to December 15 120 the first thing you would you want to find out is can I use the half year convention or do I have to use the mid quarter convention well I'm going to add up all the assets 40 plus 120 that's equal to 160 and in the fourth quarter I placed 120,000 and I can assure you if you take 120 divided by 160 it's going to be more than 40 percent and specifically you placed 75 percent of your asset in the fourth quarter what does that mean stop you got to use the mid-quarter convention when 40 percent of your assets are placed in the last quarter you cannot use the half year you want you you want to use the mid-quarter you want to use the half a year right it's going to give you more depreciation so how do we compute the depreciation well we're gonna, you're going to be given a table okay so let me show you how the table is uh, how, how to read the table now these tables are from the irs website your textbook your cpa course they might have slightly different tables but you have to know how to read the tables for the forty thousand dollar asset it's a, first of all it's a seven year asset so we're going to go to the table of uh, three five seven uh, three three five seven ten fifteen and twenty year property mid quarter convention and this is this asset the forty thousand is placed in the first quarter so what do we do we go okay year one seven year asset placed in the first quarter that's 25 percent so we're going to take forty thousand. don't worry how they came up with this they already did all the factor for you times 25 percent we have ten thousand of depreciation for the second asset for the second asset it's it's the year one but it was it's, it's year one three five seven it's a seven year property mid-quarter convention placed in service in the fourth quarter now we're using a different table now again you're you you're textbook they might combine the tables to make it easy for you but this is the official irs tables so we're looking at year one first year 3.57 so we'll take 120,000 times 0 0.0357 4,289 the total depreciation is 14,284 using the mid quarter convention so so far what we did is we looked at the half a year convention mid quarter convention and both of these as both of these conventions apply to what type of asset personal asset not real asset well guess what in the next session we're going to be looking at is mid-month so we have a mid-month and guess what the mid-month applies to real property to real property and what's real property building warehouses right 
something that's not movable. What should you do now? Go to Farhat Lectures and look at additional resources, lectures, multiple choice, true, false. That's going to help you understand the cost recovery. Whether you are a CPA exam candidate, an accounting student, or an enrolled agent, I can help you do better. Invest in yourself. Good luck. Study hard. And of course, stay safe.